So I'm now trying out a sort of podcast audio style um, setup. So hope you all enjoy it. And the first topic is I'm just going to sort of discuss a couple of common points that get raised that um, that generally people who may be in the public or friends and family will repeatedly bring up. And it's the topic of is being vegan hard to do? And it often arises when people are like, oh yeah, veganism makes a lot of sense. You don't want to hurt animals. It's better for the environment. It's better for our health. But it's really hard to do. It's, you know, it's inconvenient for my life and it just, it just seems really hard. And the blunt, quick answer to that is no, it's not hard. And I say that from a point of it's all relative. So to grow your own food and to forage everything, that's hard. But if like most of the people in England, um, we, you know, we shop, we go to shops and we buy food from shops, then choosing a different item to put in your basket or to put in your bag isn't hard. It may seem hard from the outside, but again, it's all relative. So I am gluten-free, no chili vegan, and I've been doing uh, that for about eight years and it's not hard. Um, but I understand because before I was vegan, I thought it was going to be hard. I thought that it was might have been an inconvenience. But once you start doing it, it becomes natural. It becomes easy to do. I don't really eat bread. Um, sometimes I'll eat gluten-free bread, but if not, I've got rice cakes. Um, if I fancy some veggie sausages, there's a massive selection of them. So similarly with animal products, there's a replacement for all of them. It's just knowing where they are and how to cook with them and familiarizing yourself. If you've never cooked quinoa before, you know, try it out. If you don't even know what amaranth is or you don't know what buckwheat is or you don't know what quinoa or polenta are, go check them out. And the other thing is, you know, you, when you really think about it, the fruits and vegetables, the staples are really versatile things like lentils or black beans or kidney beans can be put with loads of different dishes, pasta dishes, rice dishes, lentil shepherd's pies, stews, soups. There's just loads and loads of options. So when people say it's hard to be vegan, um, I always bring it back to it's not hard, A, because I'm doing it and B, it's relative. So sitting on your sofa is the easiest thing to do. Not eating at all, that's the easiest thing to do. Obviously not recommended. But going to a shop and using a different section of the shop or shopping somewhere else isn't hard. Um, the thinking about, oh, I've got to... I've got to find these products. I've got to find things that don't have bits of um, animals in. I've got to find things that don't have gelatin. I've got to find things that haven't got added milk. Once you've found them, you know, you know they're there. You know that, let's say, the world food section or the free from section, there's a lot of vegan and gluten-free options in there. Or a lot of supermarkets and shops now have vegan sections, so you don't have to look at the back of the tins, you just go straight for that section and you know that you can pick up everything. It's, it's a realisation, it's a realisation that it's not hard and it's not hard in comparison to growing your own food or foraging for everything. And yeah, personally, you would have thought that gluten-free, vegan and no chilli would be hard for me to do, but it's not. Um, it's, it's achievable and um, very easy for anyone to do, really. And also, leading on from this, quite often people say, oh, yeah, veganism makes a lot of sense, don't want to hurt animals, better for the environment, better for your health, but it's really expensive. You know, mock meats are expensive, plant milks are expensive. Um, what else is expensive? Oh, yeah, because it's because it's popular at the moment, you know, the prices are higher on it. You don't have to buy the expensive things. The cheapest things in the world, generally, are rice, pasta, bread, fruits and vegetables in their raw state, lentils, dry goods. Dry goods are very cheap. And yes, you can buy um, 
expensive mock meats or expensive plant milks, but also you can make your own plant milk, uh, <clears throat> your own plant milks, and you can make your own plant meats. So like a, a bean burger or a lentil burger, very, very simple thing to make, very cheap as well. And so it's expensive to be vegan is just a statement that isn't true. Um, it can be. It's the same as eating a meat diet. You can have gold-plated caviar or gold-plated steak, but you don't have to do that. You could eat the, the bargain bin, um, like reduced section, highly processed carcinogenic bacon if you wanted to. You know, it's 20p or whatever. Similarly, you could go and find the um, reduced section and buy vegetables that are reduced or vegan mock meats that are reduced. And it's also a myth that plant milks are expensive. Um, at the moment in the UK, you can get plant milks for between 60p and a pound. That's not expensive. And also, if you um, are more frugal than that, you can make your own and make it even cheaper. So overall, the two points are being vegan is too hard to do. That's not true. And it's too expensive um, being vegan is expensive. Again, that's not true. It, they're both relative. They're both relative to how you choose to buy things and how you choose to live. And both of them, you can make your life easier by um, simply getting a list of the things that you need to buy or asking someone, okay, so I am going to go vegan, but is it complicated? What, what, can, I, what can I cook? Can you give me some recipes for some soups or... Um, adding beans to a pasta dish to bulk it out and give you a bit more um, filling. Um, or like, instead of buying mints, um, you can get mushrooms and turn them into mints. Or you can bake cauliflower. Shout out to Alice for that um, recipe she sent me a while ago. It's a really good recipe where, I'll put it in the link below, where you bake the cauliflower and then you put it in wraps and you make your own... Um, salsas and your own dips and your own spreads and fill it with um, lettuce and cucumber and whatever you want peppers maybe some like fried peppers and then the other day on top of that my friend cooked me some um, baked butternut squash and just used garlic powder on it a little bit of olive oil as well it tasted banging it was great and um, we had some uh, wraps I had oh no it was um, pitters so I had some gluten-free pitters Loads of salad, vegan mayonnaise. I was, it's banging. There's so many options out there and you can make it expensive, but you don't have to. Just buy staples. Buy, you don't have to buy um, highly processed things that are generally more expensive. You can make your own. It's about, um, now people know this. Now people know that it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be expensive. There's less and less excuses for people to buy products that have, um, involved and caused violence to animals. So obviously it's just make, it's a more, the right choice, a more ethical choice, a more altruistic choice, a more, a choice that just makes a lot of sense. Um, so yeah, that's my overall view of those topics. I hope you enjoyed them and have a lovely day. Mm -hmm.